Well, what's poppin'? How you guys doing? It's your boy Trunks with another banger video. Today we're gonna be talking about what is the best revenge if she cheats on you, all right, my boys? So, the best revenge, guys, is getting hotter women. That is the best revenge. If you wanna make your ex jealous, you wanted to regret breaking up with you, cheating on you, whatever, the best revenge you can get is literally dating hotter women, sexier women, feminine women, better looking women, all right? Now, if you can't attract better looking women, you have to self-improve, you know? You have to go hit the gym, fix your face, maybe even get more money, whatever, guys. Whatever you guys have to do to get that confidence and get more women, do it. Because that is the best revenge if you want your, your, your ex to be regretful of what she did, all right? Now, most people will tell you the best revenge is literally, you know, um, what, like doing something bad to her or making her, you know, feel some type of way or telling her something. Nah, guys, the best revenge, guys, is literally not doing shit to her and literally doing shit in your life. That's how you're gonna make any woman, you know, be regretful of what she did, all right? That is the best revenge. Like, that simple, guys. A lot of people think, a lot of people wanna be like evil and say oh you should do this do a little prank on her uh tell her this tell her that show her some pictures text her da, da, da. nah guys we're not gonna do all, none of that extra shit because we're alphas why the fuck do we want to do that right the best thing you can do is focus on you get on your purpose become better every day because let me tell you this bro she cheated on you for a reason whether it be she was being selfish, whether it be you were too nice, whether it be your looks, whether it be you didn't sexually get her on like that. It could be anything, guys. Don't even worry about it. The only thing you should worry about is getting on your shit. Go hit the fucking gym. Go get your money up. Go get your own car. Go get your own crib, man. Because as a man, you need to do those things. As a man, you want to you wanna really get revenge on that bitch? Go focus on yourself. Go get, go become better every day. Evolve every day. Date harder women. Go put yourself out there. Date hot, harder women. Because let me tell you this, man. If one hot woman likes you, one sexy woman likes you, thousands, there's thousands of them that will like you too. Trust me, guys. If, like, having a bad bitch does not come by accident. It doesn't. If you are taking care of yourself, you're handsome looking, you're, you're on your purpose, if you get one hot chick, you can get many, 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 many others. You know, nothing comes by by accident. Nothing is by accident. So if you have like that low, low self-esteem, you think that was the best chick you ever could get, your ex, talking about your ex, you're wrong, my dude. If she was hot, if your ex was actually hot, bro, you could get another woman like that. Why are you tripping about her? You're thinking scarcity game, my dude. And what we talk about when you're thinking scarcity, you're not thinking as an alpha, you're thinking like a beta. Because the alpha, man, the alpha just moves on. The alpha just moves on, faces life head on, and does his own shit. The beta contemplates, the beta procrastinates, the beta overthinks, overanalyzes situations. The reason why you're overanalyzing situations like this is simply because you still have those beta tendencies and that's totally fine my dude as long as you're trying to improve as long as you you see your errors that's all that matters because you can't be stuck in the same position you can't be stuck thinking about your ex because she's not doing anything good for you if anything thinking about her doesn't make you feel good so why you do why are you thinking about it right just move on go text these other women there's hella beautiful women in this world guys Billions, thousands, millions, a lot of them. I don't even know why you're thinking about her. Maybe maybe she gave you some bomb dome. Maybe she rode your dick and stick pretty good. Maybe she cooked for you. Maybe she did stuff for you. Who knows? I don't know. Maybe she was a good girl. Maybe she was treating you like a king, but something happened, you know? So if some you know, if she was like the best option you can get, she's not. I'm I'm here to tell you she's not, bro. Because like I said, if you can attract a woman like that, you can attract thousands of many more like her. Put that on Allah, put that on God, bro. Because if you're a high value male, you're truly a high value male. You are striving for greatness. You are striving for success. 
there there's a lot of women that will be attracted to you simply because you are a man on a mission so don't be so caught up in this one woman whatever your ex whatever she is to you you know because you can date other women i know it's like hard sometimes because you get your feelings caught up you have a, a, an emotional connection with this woman but let me tell you this man you do not love her you do not like her like that you only loved what she was giving you which was what was in between her legs and that's just the truth a lot of you guys hook up with these women because out of scarcity I'm just being honest with you. You think that's the best option you can even get. So what I'm saying to you guys is if you're thinking out of scarcity and you date a woman, don't don't think that things are going to go well, because if you already have that mindset, you're going to be emotionally drained. Like you're going to worry about what she's doing. If she's talking to other dudes, if she's texting them, calling them, etc. You're going to be worried about you're going to be worrying about things you shouldn't worry about things out of your control. You know what I'm saying? Because in reality, you can't control her, bro. She controls herself. So if you only date a woman because out of scarcity, you don't feel like you could get another woman like that. That's not a good place to set yourself up in. Because then once if something happens, y'all break up, get in an argument, you're going to be thinking beta the fuck out, guys. You're going to be crying. You're going to be emotional. You're not going to think logically. So that's why I recommend you guys not to date, <clears throat> to not get in a relationship with women. Simply because a lot of you guys get in relationships out of scarcity or sex or because you're bored. And that's just the truth. So being in a relationship isn't bad. It's about the mindset. If you get in a relationship and you have an abundance of women, that's perfect. You know, because you know in the back of your head, if this shit doesn't work out, you can just go ahead and talk to other women, text other women, date other women. But if you don't have any women and she's the only woman that you fuck with, that's not a good you know that's not a good way to set yourself up in it just that's a that's a recipe for disaster because as a man you should have options as a man you should have lots of women because if you get emotionally attached to one woman to one woman you're gonna fuck yourself up man my dude because most of the time they're gonna leave they come and go women come and go that's why i always tell you guys avoid a relationship unless you have a lot of women you're you're in an abundance mindset because if you have a lot of women around you a lot of women fuck with you you're choosing a particular woman to be in a relationship with simply because you you're tired of fucking with other women like that and you know that you could get more women so she's not your only option she's not your only option that's the most important thing because a lot of my other dudes that don't think like this they only get with the woman because that's their only option and that's sad as fuck you don't want that why would you want why would you want to put yourself in that type of mindset and situation why it's a recipe for disaster my dude so as a man you should have a lot of options as a man you should focus on your purpose as a man you should self-improve because if you don't have that abundance mindset yet you will be fucked in the asshole because you're thinking out of scarcity. So if you're thinking out of scarcity, you have to self-improve. You know, you have to work out, you have to get your money up, you have to get that type of yeah, you have to get that confidence somehow. Because everything's all about confidence, you know. You might not be the best looking dude, but if you have a lot of confidence, that ready that radiates out of you. You know, people feel that type of energy, people feel that alpha energy. So you might not look handsome. But if you have that alpha energy, that shit radiates out of you. It leaks out of you and people feel that. So don't be, you know, don't overanalyze this because in reality, it's simple. The best revenge you, you can get if your ex cheats on you, breaks up with you, is self-improvement, dating hotter women. And that's just the truth. It's that simple. Don't overthink this. Don't overanalyze this because as an alpha, we don't overanalyze shit. We just do it. We worry about the details later in the future, but right now, just action, 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 action. And then we, we uh, iterate uh, along the way. So as a man, you should have, you need an abundance mindset. You need to have options because if you're in a relationship and you're thinking out of scarcity, you are setting yourself up for failure. All right, my dude. So that's it for this video. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe. 
Holla at your boy. Make sure you share this video with your mommy, your daddy, your auntie, your uncle, your brother, your sister, and make sure you do the necessary things in order to evolve and grow. Alpha the fuck up. Lord Trunks, out baby. Bye.